the Arma Outcast AS right here. This truck belongs to Mark Perella. I've got it brand new out of the box to show it to you guys. So this is a first look. I'm gonna take a look in the chassis, point out the things that catch my eye, maybe do a little visual comparison between this guy right here. So we'll just have to see how it stacks up. Guys, take a look. So the first thing you notice is this retro style body, similar to the uh, Outcast 6S. You know, it's a really unique looking body. Looks good, the paint looks good. So yeah, why not put it on there? Nice bumper right here too. And we'll see how durable that is soon. Got a little bit different tire on it. A little bit more of a MX style tread. So that's definitely different than the Creighton 8S. Got some skids up here. The bolt heads are actually sticking up. So when this thing skids on the asphalt, those are gonna get nice and shiny. Even these right back through here, the same thing. So let's go and get the body off and look underneath. <laughs> It'll never be this clean again. Nice. So the first thing we notice is the front bumper assembly right here. This is definitely set up to absorb some hits and it's going to get some. Now, the front suspension, all that, same as the Creighton 8S. So if you're familiar with that truck, you should be very familiar with what you're seeing right here. The servo assembly and all that, that's also the same, doesn't look up, doesn't appear to be changed at all. So I know a lot of guys, they do complain about this. I did a little bit of work on mine, even though I kept the stock servo, I bumped the BEC up and I extended this out. I also took this off and actually uh, moved it over one spline. That way it would actually work and it seems to work pretty darn good like that. So, and also you can uh, link up to this. I believe the uh, 1080 Hobby Wing tuner actually works on this and you can actually bump the internal BEC up. So we'll be doing that. It's got their big EC5 connectors. Those are probably gonna go away for some XT90s. Now, get into a little bit more here. Oh, geez. It's heavy. It doesn't feel quite as heavy as a Creighton, but it's got the same Creighton motor, same fan, all this, same transmission. Now, a lot of guys are just immediately swapping out the pinion gear right from the very first spot because it does come with a larger pinion gear, speed gear. And I'm pretty much going to do that. However, first, we're going to get actual speed run with this as compared to the speed pinion just to see what the difference is. Now, it appears everything from here forward is pretty well standard Creighton. So, or standard issue, nothing changed there. Everything changes in the back. Now, although the back end has the same rear axle assembly and all that, it's obviously quite a bit shorter. Everything is shorter back here, so yeah. The battery trays are still adjustable, so should better back that up a little bit to get a long battery, so not an issue. And uh, pretty much it just, it's just a shortened up Creighton. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much it, really. Now, I do want to mention that because this front half is just like the Creighton, obviously, all your big motors can fit right in there. So, and it wouldn't surprise me if Mark doesn't decide to get one of those big motors. In the back, they actually included a tiny little uh, short version of that support. So, that's actually pretty cool. Now, with the chassis being so short and all that, um, you know... I kind of wonder if it really needs it, but it's there. That's a good thing. I know the uh, V1.5 Creighton really needed it pretty bad. When they first came out, they were bending pretty easily. So, yeah, when I saw that, I, that was what actually got me to get the Creighton. So, hmm, neat truck. Neat little truck. Now, the rear wing is also different than the uh, Creighton. So, Huh, looking at us, see. Suspension feels about as stiff as before. Stiff as a Creighton. Now, oh! 
Okay, the shafts in this one are actually straight. Huh, that's cool. On the crate when I got that, every single one of them had a bend. Wow, all right. Chassis looks nice and shiny right now. It won't for long. I like the wheelie bar. And it actually has like some rubber wheels back there. That's actually pretty nice. Now I do want to mention that I do believe that they actually put in a, uh, uh, get this thing back on the table here, that they actually changed the uh, center diff out. So it's got a, uh, the 20 million or like a silicone style earplug type deal that we were all modifying, making work. So let me try something. Yes, that center diff is way stiffer than what mine came with. Absolutely. I do got to say, it might would benefit from some of those, sim those silicone earplugs, though, even though it's definitely a thicker, more higher viscosity lube in there. Okay, let's check a few things here. Now, that is there. There is the wheelbase. So, yeah, it's definitely shorter. And that really, really should help this thing do some wheelies. Mine, obviously, I've, uh, you know... I've had some runtime on mine. Nice big motor. But if you look at the whole driveline system, it's all the same. Just shortened up. Which should make for a fun truck. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him hit some backflips with this guy. Well, speaking of that, now, <laughs> obviously these are not the stock tires. But uh, anyways, looks, it looks good. It really does. So guys, that was my first look at the Arma Outcast 8S. I'm impressed. I think it's going to be a lot more fun truck than what the Creighton is. Just because a short wheelbase, well, that'll just allow it to get them flips a little bit better. I mean, you guys have seen this one. I can barely get the flips, but it does. I mean, it gets them. That right there should zip on over. So, anyways, hopefully they made a little bit more durability in the arms. They look identical to what I've got. Since I broke that one rear left arm, I bought some new ones, and I did the whole boiling thing, and I haven't broke any since. So that's a good thing, right? So, guys, that was the first look. Check that description for Arma. Um, links for this truck right here, and also links for other things, affiliate links, eBay, Amazon, A-Main, Use those links to check out whatever's in your cart or buy whatever they take you to. You might like it, right? Well, anyway, guys, check that description. Make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned for the running video. Should be coming up soon. And thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members? Get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.